Israel against Iceland, round number 7 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back! My name is Nitzan Steinberg, your chess grandmaster here from Israel and today we will watch together round number 7 of Chess Olympiad 2024, the match between Israel against Iceland. So, in the first board of our national team we have our hero for today, Grandmaster Maxim Rothstein against the Grandmaster Vijnir Stefansson from Iceland. Let's see this game. So c4, e6, knight c3, d5, d4, and now knight f6 was played. c5 is a very interesting move here. After c takes d5, c takes d4, queen a4, bishop d7, queen d4, takes, takes, knight f6. There is so many lines here, and it's very interesting because black just, you know, sacrificed one pawn for the initiative in the development uh, in his pieces in the opening. So it's really interesting after c5 c takes c takes also queen takes d5 uh, d4 of course knight c6 also very interesting um, positions here after bishop d6 so just for you to know if you like to learn this uh, you know sacrifice in the opening for black but knight f6 was played c takes d5 knight takes d5 of course as we already know after e takes d5 so many lines here bishop g5 c6 e3 bishop e7 after bishop f5 there is a queen a3 move very interesting uh, you know it's going for this end game that i must tell you it's not so easy to play with both colors but obviously with the black pieces uh, it's just uh, not so you know comfortable to play because of these uh, three pawns so of course after c takes d5 knight takes d5 also uh, there is a move like this e4 knight takes b takes and c5 rook b1 was played uh, as i know the main theory here is to play knight f3 c takes c d4 c takes bishop b4 check bishop d2 takes takes and castle or knight d7 and you know black is trying to play knight d7 b6 bishop b7 rook c8 rook e8 and white will try to play bishop d3 Castle, rook ac1, rook fe1 with d5, e5, or maybe h4, knight g5, something around this. So it's really interesting. There is so many games that that were played here. You can just learn it. So after c5, Maxim Rochin is going for rook b1. I think because he didn't want to, to go for this line with bishop b4. So bishop e7 was played, knight a3, castle, and now h4, Maxim Rochin is putting h4 in this game in this board you know i just perfect to see it because as you know in my youtube channel you already learned that i really like to play the move h4 with you know with the white pieces and h5 with the black pieces so h4 just amazing move by max b6 and now h5 really wants to push this pawn until h6 h6 was played and now rook h3 the point here that white will try to play rook g3 with bishop h6 threats bishop d3 queen e2 e5 queen e4 you know attack in the king's side let's see what black is doing so c takes d4 uh, c takes d4 you know here was an interesting move to play rook g3 immediately and after king h8 something around queen d2 and you know the point here just uh, to attack uh, with rook takes g7 and it's it's really really strong here i don't know it's it looks really tempting here for white so i don't know d takes c3 queen takes c3 e5 yeah maybe bishop takes here g takes um yeah rook d1 maybe because there is some threats on this king with knight takes e5 knight f7 knight g6 i don't know it looks really really uh, scary for black but maybe maybe white is losing here i don't know so c takes d4 was played by max also of course very strong move bishop b7 attacking this pawn on e4 rook g3 was played just you know telling you know what i'm just attacking with bishop h6 king h8 was played and now bishop d3 defending the pawn on e4 knight c6 and now queen d2 very strong move i can tell you that maybe you can check one very interesting game that played with uh, with the white pieces grandmaster Viktor Michalevsky against I'm not sure but Andrew Tang Andrew Tang or no 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 I think L Lion Wonder 
uh, with the black pieces was just an amazing position also very very similar to this one so queen d2 and this position is very bad for for black because you can play just you know king f1 was played also a3 could have been a very strong move because bishop b2 drags move and d5 threats with queen h6 checkmate on the board so it's very interesting also king f1 with, with the same uh, idea because here after bishop b2 there may be bishop b4 and this is something that we don't want to let because uh, you know the bishops will be uh, exchanged here so i don't like it so king f1 was played very strong move by max and uh, now rook c8 after knight takes d4 of course it's very bad because knight takes queen takes and bishop b2 with attack on the queen and also queen h6 checkmate on the next move so rook c8 was played and now d5 another very strong move by max e takes and e takes queen d5 it's a very good question why not to play th this one but just bishop b2 with queen h6 checkmate threats after f6 just knight h4 and you know this is looks just really terrible well what can i say just uh, looking very very bad so he played a move knight b8 after he takes d5 knight e5 was played also bishop b2 looks very strong you know with queen h6 checkmate on the board so bishop f6 knight e5 with attack on on G on f7 um here there, there is one interesting line queen takes d5 and yeah i think in this position rook g6 this was the point to attack on h6 with checkmate right and after f takes g6 knight takes king h7 and knight e7 or f4 i think e7 yeah better and uh, so yeah this position of course is losing absolutely so yeah it's really nice but max played a move knight e5 with attack on the f7 pawn bishop takes d5 and now queen f4 you know you are just attacking the pawn also queen f5 with checkmate threats on h7 knight e7 just uh, bishop b2 was played also queen f5 and here bishop b2 looking very strong but also of course bishop b2 knight f6 now queen f5 as you can see it's transposed queen e8 and maybe you can ask yourself what is going on after bishop e6 just takes and after f takes knight f7 checkmate on the board and here queen takes d3 there is a move but rook takes f takes and knight g6 and taking the bishop so it's winning position queen f5 queen e8 was played rook g6 what a brilliant move by maxim rochten you know is just so tactic so beautiful and you know we must in this move coming back here and say to ourselves what an israeli national team team we have you know we just the best player in our israel country and it's just amazing to see them okay let's coming back you know it was just a very uh, exciting moment for me so rook g6 uh, the point here just you just attack with all your pieces rook takes f6 this is the threat with queen h7 checkmate on the board so f takes knight takes queen takes after a king h7 just taking all the all the things right coming back here and you can do like knight f4 and taking this knight or maybe bishop f6 with checkmate yeah just everything is losing for black here so he took it queen takes queen takes bishop c4 bishop takes rook takes and rook e1 bishop d8 rook d1 and just bishop c3 and rook d3 very slowly as you can see there is time for him g4 bishop e5 and yeah rook c3 takes takes rook f8 g5 bishop d8 was played uh, of course with yeah with half a set half a minute uh, in the board in the clock and that's it maxim rochten brings home very important win with white pieces in this match israel against iceland let's go for the second board now we will uh, move it very very fast so stay tuned and be with me d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight f3 of course with the black pieces is playing grandmaster ido gorsten the youngest player in the national team against grandmaster a uh, yeah it will be not so easy to me to say his name but Kit kitterson a uh, good mundur yeah i hope i pronounce it right so d5 g3 the catalan variation bishop b4 and coming back bishop g2 castle castle c6 queen c2 uh, we saw already one game uh, by dogorstein in this uh, olympiad against um, uzbekistan of course in this line 
So b6 was played, I think in, in his uh, last game he played a move a5 here, or maybe knight bd7 and after it a5, but now b6 was played, bishop f4, bishop b7, it seems that a dog Rosten learned about his, uh, you know, previous game and uh, it's really beautiful to see. N Rook d1, knight bd7, knight c3, rook c8, very, uh, you know, like logical is playing and also uh, very solid. b3, c5, takes, 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 takes. And e4, c takes d4, queen e2, bishop coming back, knight takes, queen e8. I you know I, I like um, how Ido is, go is playing this one. e5, very strong, and now knight c5 uh, seems simply very good. I think also knight f6 with bishop c5 was maybe better because, you know, you want to exchange these, um, you know, two bishops. So maybe knight f6 with bishop c5 was a little bit better but knight c5 also seems okay attacking the pawn also knight e6 knight e4 in some ideas and also protecting this bishop on a6 queen c4 bishop takes queen takes knight takes e4 take here bishop f6 this position should be equal and um, you know he's doing it perfect takes takes and yeah okay white has one pawn up but obviously it should be should be a drawish position and uh, Ido Gorsten is doing just uh, the best here to provide a draw here. And yeah, Ido Gorsten with the black pieces drew this game against a very strong grandmaster from Iceland. Let's go for the third board. Our legend, Grandmaster Tamir Nabati with white pieces against Grandmaster from Iceland, uh, Hannes Stefansson. Let's see it. So d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. He's playing the e3 and bishop d6, c5, and now b4, uh, bishop b2, b6, knight bd2, looks very uh, fine for white. The bishop on e7 uh, is not so good here, and white is controlling and has a very good space advantage. c6, bishop e2, bishop a6, castle, queen c8, takes on b6, knight bd7, now take another pawn, thank you very much. And now it's, yeah, it's not so easy because the pawn on b6 will be lost. Bishop c3, rook takes a3, takes, takes, and now rook a1, bishop d6, and queen a6. And he's going for the endgame. As you know, Tamir Nabati really likes to play endgames, as I already uh, told you. Queen, uh, queen takes, rook takes, uh, rook b8, bishop a5, king is coming, knight b3, and now knight e5. I thought uh, in, in during the game, maybe to play knight e1 with knight d3 with f3 because this square is very good for the knight. He, he can jump to e5, to c5, to b4. So I thought maybe knight e1 uh, was a, a better option, but knight e5 was played, knight takes, and this was a mistake. Bishop takes was a much better option for black. After d takes, just coming with the king, you know, uh, and these two knights are better than uh, this good knight, but, but this bishop is not good. And all so yeah this position i'm not sure about it for uh, tamir but knight takes e5 was played d takes and now knight c5 and bishop b4 i think you know uh, black uh, forgot about this move bishop b4 very strong um yeah source with the white pieces knight takes a6 bishop takes d6 and now take and knight c5 and this position looks very bad b7 a brilliant move of course because after knight takes e5 just promoting a queen with uh, just an uh, unbelievable position. Knight b8, king f1, uh, the king is going very, very fast to d4, and now g4, h4, you know, it sh this should be losing, uh, obviously, and it's not so important how, but yeah, just taking the pawn, take on h6, and of course, this pawn will be promoting uh, to a queen very soon. So Tamir Nabati give us a very important win. Congratulations! Two and a half against half. So we won, but let's see the last board we have. Evgeny Posny, Grandmaster Evgeny Posny with black pieces against LGS Gritterson, uh, also Grandmaster from Iceland. Let's see it very fast. C4, E6, D5, and now Bishop E7 was played by uh, Evgeny. C takes d5, e takes d5, bishop f4, c6. So the point of, uh, you know, like developing the bishop first uh, instead of playing knight f6 is the, the point that this bishop will not come to g5 immediately and maybe he will go to f4. So e3, bishop f5, g4 was played, uh, bishop e6, you know, against Evgeny Posny to play very sharp, it's not so good because Evgeny is very solid one and if you're doing some mistakes, he, he will, he will uh, uh, you know, like, he will punish you about it. So queen b3, queen b6 and now it seems that 
they are going for the end game and uh, if Genny is doing it it's right i think because you know he's with the black pieces uh, he, he wants to equalize the position and uh, he's trying to do it in the end game so it's it makes sense for me g6 and now knight g7 very strong maneuvering by Evgeny. Um, king d2 rook f8 takes knight x f4 knight d I, I thought in this position maybe to play knight g7 because you don't want to allow f5 and now somehow you know like maybe to bring this knight maybe b6 c8 knight d6 and this square will be very strong for black but let's see so he played the move knight df8 f5 takes takes knight g6 bishop g3 and now it seems that these pawns are a little bit weak for Evgeny so I'm not sure about this the decision to allow f5 a6 knight d2 bishop f8 rook a f1 bishop g7 and bishop f2 was played here somehow I don't know why but bishop d6 was a very strong move uh, because uh, overall rook f2 with rook h f1 and this pawn on f7 will be very um, weak and also don't forget about knight g3 so for example after bishop f8 i think just takes and knight g3 yeah knight uh, g takes knight g3 knight g7 maybe bishop d3 e2 and the pawn will fall uh, probably but f bishop f2 was played uh, c5 you know, if Genny is going for uh, the initiative here, uh, trying to open this diagonal for the bishop and also to activate uh, this knight from e6, knight g3 takes, takes, and takes only three, and now d4, um, yeah, bishop g1, rook a d8, bringing the other rook into the game, rook d5, very strong uh, maneuvering with the rook, bishop e4, rook e5, bishop d3, also bishop b b7 was a, a move to, to consider, I think overall knight c5 maybe and a5 with rook b8, yeah probably white uh, doesn't have so much time to think about because as you can see he has only 5 minutes uh, in his clock, bishop d3, b5, it seems that uh, both of them were play like uh, in the time trouble here, knight g7 was played and maybe b4 was a better option and not to allow knight c5 in the next uh, moves knight g7 king takes rook f3 knight h4 rook f7 king g8 of course because after king h8 just losing absolutely and taking the rook uh, the knight of course so king g8 uh, bishop h7 g6 rook g5 rook f6 king g7 and this position uh, is totally fine for black as you can see um is under control and in this position yeah the the draw will come very fast as you can see rook and a bishop against a uh, rook and a knight two pawns but but yeah they don't need to to play so much to understand that this position is a draw and um, so let's go for the end because some some checks here some maneuvering and um, but that's it this position is absolutely draw so israel against iceland three one we did it let's go uh, you know to play today a very important match against cuba i hope for the best let's go israel if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe my channel for more chess content see you soon in the next videos bye bye